The three friends had heard rumors about the abandoned amusement park. It was said that the park was haunted by a creature that had killed several people in the past. But the friends didn't believe in ghosts or monsters. They wanted to explore the park and see if the rumors were true. So they decided to sneak into the park at night, hoping to have some fun and prove that the stories were nothing more than fiction. But as they made their way through the darkened park, they soon realized that they had made a grave mistake. The park was eerily quiet with no sign of any living soul. And worse, they had unknowingly triggered a security system and the park's gates had closed behind them, trapping them inside. Panicking, the friends decided to split up and search for an exit. But as they wandered through the maze of abandoned rides and attractions, they soon realized that they were not alone. A low growl echoed through the park, and a pair of glowing eyes appeared in the darkness. The creature they had heard about was real, and it was hunting them. One by one, the friends fell victim to the creature. It attacked them from the shadows, its sharp claws tearing through their flesh, its teeth sinking into their skin. The first friend to fall was the girl. She had wandered too far from the others, and the creature had caught her off guard. She screamed for help, but it was too late. The creature dragged her into the darkness, leaving the others to wonder what had happened to her. The second friend to fall was one of the boys. He had found an old Ferris wheel and decided to climb aboard, hoping to get a better view of the park. But the creature had been waiting for him, its claws ripping through his chest as he struggled to escape. The third friend was the bravest of them all. He heard the screams of his friends and knew that he was the only one left. Determined to survive, he armed himself with a makeshift weapon and prepared to face the creature. But the creature was too strong. It attacked him from behind, its claws digging into his back as he tried to fight back. In his final moments, he let out a desperate cry for help, but there was no one left to hear him. And so the abandoned amusement park claimed its final victim. The friends who had entered its seeking adventure had found only horror and tragedy. And the creature that had haunted the park for so long remained, its hunger sated, waiting for its next victims to arrive. Days went by and the friends' families became worried. They had not heard from them, and their phones were off. The police were contacted, and a search party was sent out to look for them. As the search party entered the abandoned amusement park, they were met with a haunting scene. The park was dark and the rides were rusted and worn down. It was as if the park had been abandoned for years. But as they made their way deeper into the park, they found signs of recent activity. Footprints, bloodstains, and torn clothing were scattered throughout the park leading them to believe that someone had been there recently. As they searched for clues, they soon stumbled upon the first victim's body. Her mangled body was lying near the entrance of the park, and her face was twisted in a look of terror. The search party continued their search, hoping to find the others alive. But as they moved deeper into the park, they found the other bodies, each one more gruesome than the last. Finally, they stumbled upon the last victim's body. It was the bravest of them all, and his makeshift weapon was still clutched tightly in his hand. The police were able to identify the creature responsible for the killings. It was a large predator, similar to a lion, but with more humanoid features. 
It was believed to have escaped from a nearby zoo, but no one knew how it had ended up in the abandoned amusement park. The families of the victims were devastated, their lives forever changed by the tragedy that had befallen them. The park was closed down for good, and the creature was never found. It remained a mystery, a haunting reminder of the horror that had taken place in the abandoned amusement park.